Hey, what's up, everybody? Dave Schmidow here. Just want to take a, a couple of minutes and walk you through the work that I get to do. I'm extremely blessed, completely honored to be able to work with schools, districts, really all around North America. The heart of the work that I do is around standards-based grading, assessment, aligning expectations, all of that fun stuff. But I'll be honest with you, the work that I do goes way beyond simply looking at data, scores, tests, and even looking at instruction. Really, the work that I get to do is stand beside schools, systems, districts, leaders, and educators as they navigate change, as they try to take stuff that is cerebral up in our heads that makes logical sense and put it into practice. And that's hard work. It's hard work because the work isn't just about acquiring new information. It's not just about learning the difference between mean, median, and mode. It's not just about learning stay nines and writ scores and figuring out what the data means. It's not just about taking A's, B's, and C's, turning them into one, twos, and threes. It's deeper than that. You know, if we focus on the work of, of Cotter, for example, Cotter is a major theorist uh, around change and how organizations and systems change. He walks us through this, this eight step process for leading change. He explains to us how we have to create this sense of urgency, how we have to find a problem that we're trying to solve. He talks about building a, a guiding coalition and making sure that we're able to identify those people that already buy in so that we can move them forward. He talks about coming up with strategic visions and finding those small wins. Some of the work that I do with leaders, schools, and districts is helping them navigate change, helping them navigate this model for effectively changing. Because again, full transparency, I'm normally not brought in because people have a whim or an idea of something they want to try. Normally I'm brought in because people have been trying to do this work and they've hit a roadblock and they just don't know how to move forward. If they have the head knowledge. They know what they're trying to accomplish. They know that their goal isn't just to change a report card, but to change instruction, to change practices, to try to change outcomes. And so it's a matter of standing beside them and helping them navigate this. We incorporate the work of, of the, the Eisenhower matrix, for example, where we try to recognize the difference between important and urgent. We try to find those things that we need to do versus those things that we can delegate and those things that we can schedule for later. We try to identify where our priorities are, our focus of action, the things that are most essential. Because as I present the roadmap to a lot of schools and districts, and I talk to them about how we have to develop power and priority standards and we have to align assessment and then align instruction and align our questioning. And I walk them through the various steps. It can be extremely overwhelming as we try to identify where do we plug ourselves in? What have we already accomplished and what our next step is? Helping them identify that there are some things that are more important than others, but yet there are other things that are more urgent than others. And helping them identify where we begin the work and how to move forward is extremely important. And we also incorporate the work of B.J. Fogg. B.J. Fogg, the author of Tiny Habits, he's a, a researcher and a scholar from Stanford. He's amazing. He talks to us about how change actually takes root and how we can turn things into applicable and, and relevant action steps. And he reminds us that when we're trying to do work, yep, you've got to have motivation. Yes, you've got to have skills. You've got to have the knowledge of how to do things. You've got to have the heart to do things. But also, you need to have prompts to do things. You've got to know how to remind people of the work. You've got to remind people of when to do the work, where to do the work. And you've got to do this in a way that isn't nagging. It's not intrusive. It's supportive, yet validating at the same time. So when people ask me, what do I do? <laughs> That's what I do. I support grading. I support assessment. I uh, support instructional design. But more importantly, I help guide the process to implementation. Because it's not just about knowing how to do the work. It's not just about being fired up to do the work. It's about putting your feet to the fire and doing the work. So if you've got questions, reach out. Happy to help. Find me at lastinglearning.net. You can find me at schmidow.net. Dave at lastinglearning. You can find me at david.schmidow at gmail. Lots of places to find me. Track me down. Happy to support you.